me see here. Okay, you don't really need to see me, you need to see what I'm doing. So basically when you turn this thing sideways, there's a couple screws right here, okay? You got a screw down here, a screw right here, and then there's one back here in the middle. Let me see, yeah, you can see that right here. Okay, so there's three of them. It's a Phillips, which is the cross. For those of you that aren't familiar with the Phillips, it's just the cross one. You wanna go ahead and take those screws out. What we're doing is we need to take off this side panel, okay? So it's not a huge operation. It's not difficult. If you have a Phillips screwdriver, you know, it's it's pretty, pretty easy to do it, okay? So there's three screws. Put those off to the side because we're going to need to put those back in and put that panel back on if you want to. All right. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. I just zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we want to just kind of, you know, pull this panel back a little bit. All right, there's a couple clips along the side here that are hooked into this panel. And then down on the bottom, now this is gonna be difficult to see, but I'll do the best that I can. There's two openings right here. There's a little arrow right on each one of them. You need a flathead screwdriver like so, and just put it in there and kind of pry up a little bit. That's gonna release the, the clip. Don't pry too hard because you don't wanna break it. But you can see that this is already pretty loose. All right, it doesn't take much. See, it's off. I mean, that that was it. So there's the panel. So this is just basically to have access. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. There's already a maintenance, uh, external maintenance tank in here, and I wanted to go over this again because I didn't film it the first time that I did this. So now I am. So you already see the hose and everything here, but I'm gonna tell you what you need to do. The hose that comes right here, okay, this comes from the capping station. And it's gonna connect to this hose that you're gonna add. Okay, this is like a piece of aquarium tubing. You can get it like, you know, Walmart in the pet section or even at Home Depot, they have this clear tubing. This is small stuff, it's 1 8 inch. And you're gonna connect it to this factory hose right here. All right, and you'll need to have a small barb. You get this from the auto parts store, okay? It's basically a hose connector, a butt connector. I don't know what, you know what the proper term for it is. It's, it's a hose connector. It connects two hoses together. It splices two hoses together. Well, that's going to go right in there and connect the factory hose with this hose that you're adding, okay? Once you put that in and put this in, you could either leave this back cover off. What I did was drill the hole in the back of this here. So it's kind of, so I can still leave the cover on the back side of it just because there's a lot of dust here, all right? So once you have that done and you have your piece of tube hanging out, I, I suggest that you have at least two or three feet. Um, so when you have this on your desk, wherever it's set up at, you have this running down to the floor into like a soda bottle or a water bottle or something that you can use. I've seen guys put trays right next to it and just leave it, you know, into that little tray, like a small Tupperware which is fine, but I'm clumsy and I'll knock that thing over and there'll be ink everywhere. It'll be a big mess. So get a bottle. That's what I suggest. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back together now, and then we're going to continue on and go ahead and remove the rollers. Putting it back together is going to be the same thing in reverse. Put this back on like so. It snaps back into place. Okay, it's secure. Put the screws back in and you're good to go, okay? Again, it's three screws, two here, one here in the middle. And you just want to move this enough so it releases the clips that are holding on this side. 
All right, those two little slots right down here, right there and right there, pry up with the screwdriver and that panel pops right off. 